Hey guys, what's going on? This is a video brought to you by Tech Control. In this video, I want to speak about the Call of Duty Warzone stutter, the sudden drop in frame rates. And I have been experiencing this issue um, with actually two different uh, video cards. The first one being the 5700 XT, the AMD, and the second one being the uh, NVIDIA 2070 Super. And I was uh, just about to give up. I said, "This is this is my my bad luck. That both cards, what are the chances of me having the exact same issue in game, playing the same game with the same computer, the same settings? I mean, I tried various settings and everything. Nothing did it for me. Um, so, a bit of a backstory. I started with the 5700 XT, and uh, I used to play on my um, 60 hertz uh, 4K. It was the LG uh, UHD 6150. It's a 55 inch um, a 4K TV. I probably got just around, I'd say, 45, 55 uh, frames a second, playing at 1440, of course. And then I decided to get a modern, so I got the, uh, the Gigabyte Oris. F127Q. I'm probably going to make a separate video on uh, my current setup in a different video. Uh, anyway, so I got this monitor and it's at 165 hertz. Uh, it's a it's a very nice monitor. I wanted to upgrade my gaming experience. Mind you, I was never a big fan of Call of Duty, but I started playing it for the first time in my life three months ago, and I would say it's it's super addicting. It's a it's it's a very well made game. Um, anyway, so I started playing the game. I, I enjoyed it, but then, as I was saying, I got the 2K monitor. The game was just uh, unplayable. It got that bad, where it would just stutter so frequently uh, from the get go, from the very first cutscene when you're uh, parachuting out of the plane. It was just that's when it would start, and I would be getting from. 40 frames to about 80 but anywhere in between and when they dropped so rapidly the game was unplayable so every five to ten seconds it would drop and it would stutter and then it would uh, all of a sudden the frames would when the game would come back the frames would kind of fast forward so you went from super slow-mo to like 2x forward and it was it was it was terrible so after multiple days of troubleshooting and getting nowhere, I was back to square one. And I just couldn't figure this one out. So I was on Reddit, I went through the forums. Um, people said to overclock the CPU. Um, others said that uh, to try different in-game settings, so lower the texture resolutions and um, I turn off the uh, online uh, streaming. So it's a feature where uh, I'm not sure if that's what it's called it's a feature where as you play the game the game will download content to your hard drive for like a better uh, visual experience um, and then uh, vsync of course some people uh, try toggling that on and off um, or free sync disabling free sync but again that defeats the purpose of having a high-end monitor which uh, you have a panel that has a very um, uh, uh, fast response time and it's a uh, 1440 and high refresh rates I tried all of the steps mentioned above including the very uh, uh, popular one is uh, to uh, there's a txt file if you go to um, documents and uh, call of duty modern warfare and then players and you hit the adv options including that I tried I tried this as, as well playing around with the um, scaling so if you scale it from 0. Uh, 85 to 0 0.55 that uh, you know that that helped some people but it didn't help me so first thing I did was cleared the CMOS and then I noticed that the M.2 drive, see that one sitting up there? It actually has a, has a heat sink on it. I took it from the top and I installed it at the bottom, the secondary M.2 drive, which is underneath, quite far away from the PCI Express lane. And then what I did was I uh, just reset the RAM, so I popped it out and then I reinstalled the RAM. And it's, uh, uh, this is a um, 
3000 uh, megahertz and I overclocked it slightly to 3200 but when I reset it of course it went back to 3000 so that's what I did I reset the CMOS and the, uh, sorry cleared the CMOS and then I moved the M.2 from bay 1 to bay 2 and I reset the RAM so after I did that I restarted the computer I loaded the game and everything seemed to be working perfectly fine. I mean, as you can see from this uh, gameplay, I'm getting pretty good, pretty stable between 85 to 90 frames a second. Now, I know that not everybody's motherboard is going to have two M.2 uh, slots. So what I would recommend is if you just have the one M.2, if you have a secondary SSD or a secondary hard drive, then try downloading the game on, on the secondary hard drive. So any hard drive that does not have direct contact with the motherboard, because most likely the M.2 slot will be sitting right next to the PCI Express link. Um, and let me know how that goes in the comment section below. Another thing what you could do is just simply try to uh, remove, so turn the, turn the computer off, um, remove the M.2, reinstall that, um, remove the RAM, reinstall that, and uh, clear the uh, CMOS. And hopefully that will do the trick for you as well. So for the sake of this video and uh, the troubleshooting, um, I put the M.2 back into bay 1, so uh, which is uh, located next to uh, the GPU lane. Um, and again, I noticed there's absolutely no issues, uh, no lag, no stutter, no frame rate drop. So it could have very well just been a simple uh, reset reinstall. Uh, and um, the reason why I think um, it could have been uh, initially the issue was because the M.2 was installed right next to the um, uh, PCI Express lane is because obviously the GPU draws about 300 if not more watts of power and when it's on full throttle it's at 100% usage and then you got your M.2 which is the primary which has your windows installed on it right next to it and maybe that could have possibly uh, caused the stutter I mean let me know what you guys think in the comment section or if you've experienced something similar um, I hope this video helped you guys and if it did uh, leave a like share and uh, subscribe and in the comment section below, whenever you mention your setup, uh, please make sure to describe what kind of uh, CPU and the, and the graphic card it is and what kind of RAM you have. Alrighty guys, so until the next video or, or the next solution, uh, be safe, uh, stay blessed, and uh, we'll catch you later. Alrighty, peace.